Thank you. Greetings, one and all. Welcome back to another episode of Whatever Happened To, the series where we take a where are they now look at players who found success in the National Hockey League but are no longer permanent fixtures in the league either due to controversy, poor play or just rotten luck. Today we are going to be looking at a former 50 goal scorer in the National Hockey League as we ask... Whatever happened to Danny Heatley? After being drafted second overall by the Atlanta Thrashers in the 2000 NHL entry draft, Danny Heatley made his NHL debut in the 2001-02 season, where he led all rookies in points with 67 and assists with 41, and he was second in goals with 26 behind his teammate Ilya Kovalchuk. With his season totals, Danny Heatley won the Calder Memorial Trophy for Rookie of the Year. The 2002-03 season saw Heatley emerge as an NHL star in only his sophomore season in the league. Heatley finished 9th overall in league scoring with 41 goals and 89 points in 77 games. The sky was the limit for the young player who was reaching new heights every game. But you know what they say, what goes up must come down. On September 29th, 2003, Heatley was seriously injured when he crashed his car into a wall. The car split in half, ejecting himself and teammate Dan Snyder from the car in the process. Heatley suffered a broken jaw, a minor concussion, a bruised lung and a bruised kidney whilst tearing three ligaments in his right knee. Unfortunately, Snyder was critically injured from a skull fracture and died six days later of sepsis. Heatley was charged with vehicular homicide and pled guilty to the charges of second-degree vehicular homicide, driving too fast for conditions, failure to maintain a lane, and speeding. He also admitted to drinking prior to the incident, but his blood alcohol content was below the legal limit at the time. Heatley was sentenced to three years probation, and the judge required the court to approve Heatley's next vehicle that he drove, which could not have more than six cylinders and could not surpass 70 miles per hour. Heatley did not have to go to trial as the first degree charge was dropped to a second degree charge as part of Heatley's plea bargain. Because of the injuries he suffered, Danny Heatley only played 31 games of the 03-04 season, which saw him notch 25 points and the Thrashers missing the playoffs. During the last part of the season, the Thrashers and the Atlanta community, including Snyder's family, were largely supportive of Heatley, including telling the prosecutors and the judge that nothing would be gained by imprisoning Heatley for what he did. I'm not sure I agree with that because he did kind of kill someone, but make from that what you will, folks. During the 2004-05 lockout, Heatley initially played for SC Bern of the Swiss League and was scoring at a point-per-game pace until he was injured in November of that year. Heatley suffered a broken orbital bone after being struck in the left eye with a puck and the pupil in his left eye became permanently dilated as a result. Once he recovered, Heatley finished the year with AK Bars Kazan in the Russian Super League, or the Continental Hockey League nowadays, but had an unimpressive stint, scoring only 4 points in 11 games. Before the lockout ended though, Danny Heatley asked to be traded from the Atlanta Thrashers in the hope of leaving reminders of his tragic accident behind him. This was very unpopular with Atlanta fans, and particularly Snyder's father Graham, who felt Heatley owed much to the Thrashers organisation that had been nothing but supportive of Heatley throughout the whole ordeal. However, on August 23rd, 2005, Heatley got his wish and was traded to the Ottawa Senators in exchange for Marion Hossa and Greg DeVries. Funnily enough, Hossa had just re-signed with the Senators after a long and contentious negotiation process and saw himself traded shortly after. This business is a weird one, folks. Heatley, who was a restricted free agent at the time, immediately signed a three-year, $13.5 million contract upon being traded to the Senators. Heatley started off strongly with his new team, beginning the season with a 22-game point streak, breaking Marion Hossa's previous record of 13 games with the Senators, and Heatley's record was only one point behind the record for a point streak by a player with a new team that was set by Wayne Gretzky with the LA Kings in the 1988-89 season. In Heatley's first game back in Atlanta during that season, he was frequently booed by fans since they felt snubbed by Heatley's trade request. 
Heatley finished the season with 50 goals and 103 points, becoming the first Senators player to score 50 goals in a season, and his 103 points tied teammate Daniel Alfredson for the team lead and the franchise record, surpassing Alexei Yashin's 94-point season in 1998-99. Unfortunately, the Ottawa Senators couldn't capitalise on this success in the playoffs as the Senators were beaten in the second round by the Buffalo Sabres. After a slow start to the 2006-07 season, Heatley notched another 50-goal season and scored 105 points and became the first player since Pavel Bure in 1999-2000 to notch back-to-back 50-goal seasons. Heatley also broke the Senators' franchise record for points that he shared with Alfredson last season. The Senators performed much better in the playoffs and came only three wins away from a Stanley Cup victory, but they were beaten in five games in the Stanley Cup final by the Anaheim Ducks. Heatley capitalised on his Stanley Cup finals appearance with a six-year, $45 million contract extension, which he signed prior to the 2007-08 season opener against the Toronto Maple Leafs. Even though he missed 11 games due to a separated shoulder that season, Heatley finished the year with 41 goals and 82 points in 71 games. However, the injury-plagued Senators were swept by the Pittsburgh Penguins in round one of the playoffs, with Heatley managing just one point. On October 3, 2008, Heatley was named alternate captain for the Ottawa Senators. Heatley still put up solid numbers this season with 39 goals and 72 points in 82 games, but the 2008-09 season saw the Senators well out of a playoff spot down in 11th place in the Eastern Conference. Then, shockingly, on June the 9th, 2009, despite being only one year into his six-year contract extension, Heatley had reportedly filed a trade request. Heatley had reportedly been unhappy with his role on the Senators roster under new head coach Corey Clouston, which saw decreased ice time and a move from the first power play unit to the second power play unit. Heatley felt this was all very unfair and requested a trade as soon as possible. However, trading Heatley was made more challenging due to Heatley's contract, which saw Heatley being paid $7.6 million for the upcoming 09-10 season, and many teams didn't have the cap space to bring a contract like that on board. Supposedly, a deal was in place on June 30th, 2009 that would send Danny Heatley to the Edmonton Oilers in exchange for Andrew Cogliano, Dustin Penner and Ladislav Smeed, but Heatley refused to waive his no-trade clause on the deal, which angered Ottawa and even Edmonton Oilers fans. Then, on September 12, 2009, Heatley was traded to the San Jose Sharks, along with a fifth-round pick in 2010, for Milan McCulloch, Jonathan Chichu, and a second-round pick in 2010. Heatley had an offensive renaissance in his first season with the Sharks as he notched 39 goals and 82 points in 82 games during the 2009-10 season. However, whilst Heatley scored 13 points in 14 playoff games, the Sharks were eliminated in the 2010 conference finals in a series sweep by the Chicago Blackhawks. Sharks head coach at the time Todd McClellan later revealed that Danny Heatley had played with a torn groin muscle for the entire playoffs. The 2010-11 season saw a slight dip in Heatley's production as he picked up 26 goals and 64 points in 80 games. After the season ended, it was revealed that Heatley had been battling multiple injuries during the season and especially during the playoffs, where he scored 9 points in 18 games. Then, on July 3rd, 2011, Danny Heatley was traded to the Minnesota Wild in exchange for Martin Havlat. Whilst the Wild would miss the playoffs during the 2011-12 season, Heatley would put up 24 goals and 53 points. But despite putting up solid season numbers, this was the beginning of the end for Heatley's NHL career. The lockout-shortened 2012-13 season saw Heatley score 11 goals and 21 points in 36 games with the Wild, but an altercation with former Sharks teammate Mark Edward Vlasic dislocated Heatley's shoulder, requiring season-ending surgery to fix. The 2013-14 season saw Heatley's production nosedive as he recorded only 12 goals and 28 points in 76 games. The man who had scored a point per game for an entire season only four years ago was quickly seeing his time in the National Hockey League disappear. 
On July the 9th, 2014, Danny Heatley signed a one-year, $1 million contract with the Anaheim Ducks. But after four games into the 2014-15 season, he was a healthy scratch, having been unable to score a single point. On December the 11th, 2014, Heatley was demoted to the American Hockey League's Norfolk Admirals and was placed on waivers on December 29th, 2014. Heatley played only six games for the Anaheim Ducks, notching zero points and recording a plus-minus of minus three. On February 28th, 2015, Heatley was traded to the Florida Panthers for Thomas Fleischmann and a 2015 third-round pick in the entry draft, but Heatley never played for the Panthers, instead playing for their AHL team, the San Antonio Rampage. Whilst he didn't notch a point in the NHL that season, Danley Heatley did record 8 goals and 20 points in 43 AHL games. As Heatley's NHL career looked all but over, on September 17th, 2015, Danny Heatley decided to sign with the Thomas Sabo Ice Tigers of the Germany's Deutsche Ice Hockey Liga, or DEL for short, as Heatley was originally born in Germany and holds German citizenship. Heatley notched 17 goals and 32 points in 46 games for the German side, but the team ultimately fell short of a championship thanks to a semi-final loss to the Wolfsburg Grizzlies. Since 2016, there has been no sight of Danny Heatley playing professional hockey. There was talk of Heatley joining Finland's Lati Pelicans last season, but that never came to fruition as there is no trace of him having ever been on the Pelicans roster. Actually, the latest news regarding Danny Heatley has been far away from the hockey rink and in the courtroom. The news concerns his lawsuit of former NHL agent Stacey McAlpine, where Heatley won a $6.5 million judgment in his favour as McAlpine was charged with fraud, money laundering and theft. But even though Heatley's career didn't end with hoisting the Stanley Cup or seeing his jersey up in the rafters, to score 791 points in 869 NHL games be a Calder Memorial winner, a four-time NHL All-Star, and a gold medalist at the Winter Olympics, sounds like a pretty impressive career to me. And there you go. That's what happened to Danny Heatley. What do you think about Danny Heatley's career? Was it good, bad, or do you dislike him for abandoning your team? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.